Hey everybody! Welcome and back to Let's Play Body Harvest. Shut up, Zane. God damn it! <laughs> I, was, I was really hoping you would let me do the opening this time. Literally never. <laughs> I'm in charge here. <laughs> I thought this was my idea. This was my LP. Y'all are just posers. You're all gonna be glad I'm in charge because this level is uh, unforgiving to say the least. I, I dude, it it looks rocky as shit right now. <laughs> Yeah, this might be the easy part. You did not signal right. The cops are coming after you now. I wasn't even on the road. Doesn't matter. We've gone from trains to boats to planes and now to shitty red cars. Truly, this is Russia. Yep, we started with a Vlada car and uh, we're back where we started. Started at the bottom and I'm still here. Is this Russia? I forget. Siberia. Close enough. Part of Russia. That shotgun is amazing. Every game needs a shotgun like this. Yeah, I did manage to one-hit kill one of the hovering uh, bugs, which is normally impossible with a shotgun. Got a lucky fluke shot, which is very, very useful because I've had my car blow up here like five times. Nice. Just from those two hovering robots. That's crazy. I can believe that. And that's the least of the combat we're gonna deal with. And we're a little bit off the beaten path right now. Because we're heading for a secret. Oh, oh. I like secrets. Yeah, this is a good one. I don't believe you. Also, going for the secret um, skips a couple of event triggers that would normally fuck us over real bad, so. Good. Good. Yeah. Get fucked, event triggers. <laughs> you tell them. Yeah, but bet they feel like chumps now, motherfuckers. Good thing this, uh, this is just a simulation, and we'll go back to those event triggers when... We see the secrets. No, I'm skipping those event triggers permanently. Damn it! Good. One of them is unskippable anyway. So, oh, there's a puzzle in here. Uh, was it walk at the thing? No. If that panel always opens as soon as you walk towards it. The one behind it opens after you turn Ooh. the light switch on. Good puzzle. Very courteous puzzle, really. Yeah, I think that's the solution. I've solved this like 10 times and that always works. I can't be sure though because it's very awkward and there's no feedback whatsoever. Because it's a body harvest puzzle. Body harvest awkward? What are you talking about? <laughs> I think you're not giving this game enough credit. Eh, sometimes I don't. Most times I give it too much credit. Like, for example, that's the only way out of that area. Which is to take like a minute crawling over the mountain. Zvagago. Pretty sure it's like Zivago or something. Probably. But I'm scarcely Russian at all. Oh, Good nice, start. nice. Person, person died under your watch. Congratulations. Yeah, that guy... He's in a bad spot. I almost always have a uh, doodle bug crash into him while I'm driving past. That takes him out. What can you do? It's hard to say. It, it, it honestly feels like a lot of times, and not necessarily these games, but pretty much these types of games, especially the old ones, they, they put like stuff in where you literally can't save anyone. Hmm. Well, I mean, it's entirely possible to do a no-deaths run of uh, this entire game. Why would you do that to that's... yourself, though? Yeah, that it's sounds a horrible. That sounds absolutely atrocious. Well, we did land in the foosball capital of the world. The world champion uh, Zivago Bears come from here. You know anything about uh, Zivago Bears, Zane? God damn it. <laughs> 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 Duh, bears. Duh, bears. <laughs> I, I, sure, why not? Oh, <laughs> uh, you know, it's funny because it's true too. We're in for the long haul here, people. I actually only just uh, during that couple of minutes there realized what they were referencing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I kind of just got that too. I was like, fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh, shit. I am so pissed off over this pun, you have no idea. See, now you can pronounce it, though. Oh, yeah. 
Anyway, our second radio operator that we've met this game told us to uh, go meet his scientist friend up north and tell him that he's the one who sent us, but we didn't know his name. Unless it's Tomsk. Like the board on the wall said, tune into Radio Tomsk or something, so maybe maybe he has a radio show. I thought that was like, you know, like kind of like an AM or FM dial, you know. T tune in to Radio Station Tomsk. Quite possible, but... I don't know. I'm not gonna try and apply logic to Body Harvest. Oh no, fuck that. That's exercise of utility. What kind of radio show do you think Tomsk does? Uh, Doomsday predictions? Be very appropriate this year. Hmm. Both in game and out of game. <laughs> yeah, he probably does conspiracy theories. Mm, yep. I don't know, I get the feeling he's got a flush button right next to him. <laughs> it's possible. So, morning zoo. Yes. Now, there's a stupid thing I have managed to not point out this entire game so far, which is that uh, the side that, dry that uh, Adam sits in when he's in the driver's seat of a vehicle is different depending on which level he's in. So, like... Oh, that's... Yeah, in America, he sits on the left, but back in Greece, he sat on the right. That's crazy. That's it, It's little thing, touches like that that really bring out the realism in this game. Mm-hmm. Very subtle little details that they put more effort into than most of the rest of the game. It's off to the science quarters to meet the scientist. I already spent all my science quarters. <laughs> uh, the scientist says there's a tank to the southwest that has a driver. Uh, the driver, it's going to turn out, is us. So, looking forward to that. I already love, like, this is, like, CUNNING PLAN, ALL CAPS, FIVE exclamation MARKS. Yeah, he's full of himself. <laughs> But that's the first mention of the notorious Scud missile that we're going to, have to deal with for the entirety of this mission. Like, wait, did Russians use Scuds? Uh, maybe. That or Body Harvest didn't do their research again. Uh, I don't know. Hard to say. Maybe they lucked out. Maybe they did have Scuds. Man, you, you just keep tanking those shots. Yeah, I'm trying to rush through this, because this is a very, very long mission already. And standing around just gets you killed. Oh yeah, no, no. All the vehicles in the area are locked until we need them. Basically, the scientist gives us permission to use them as necessary. Any objections, lady? It's kind of different that Adam's actually the one that needs permission to ride something, but, you know, oh well. Yep. Not just carjacking anymore. Holy shit! Oh yeah, that's um... The bugs with the scythe hand, when they hit you, they send you flying like a mile away. I thought that was like a bug. No. It was a bug. It was a bug, that's for sure. <laughs> Sh shut up, you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> I, don't, I don't need your pedanticism. <laughs> yep, that's the scythe hand bugs. Don't get close to him. Jesus Christ, look at all the red dots on the map. Yeah, it's gonna get a lot worse. This is, uh, pure insanity. I'm surprised your N64 hasn't burst into flames from this. Yeah, it really should. It actually runs pretty well, considering the millions of moving parts. The game sound does not hold up so well. There's so many sounds layered all at once that many of them get cut out. That's pretty typical. I think even most modern games that can happen, or at least does happen. Yeah, it's absolutely no surprise. But very often the uh, machine gun from the tank makes no sound whatsoever. That's the point where we have to stop or else we get hit by more scythe hands. And that's no good. Yeah. But we made it to the Scud Missile. It's right up ahead of us. 
Jesus Christ, look at that. That is actually a lot and is extremely impressive for an N64 game. Yeah, an N64 launch game. Doesn't use the expansion pack or anything. Jesus Christ, look at all of that. <laughs> it's 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 actually extremely amazing in, in multiple ways. Why do I get the urge to just start screaming EDF, EDF? <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm conflicted. That is our first on-video reference to Earth Defense Force, which is ridiculous. It took just it took videos. four stages, four whole stages, yep, just to get to this point. <laughs> We've made it, everybody. LP over. Good night. There we go. The threat's been saying it since the very beginning, so I know <laughs> they made up for us. Is it bad that, like, at first I was like, EDF, electronic dance? Fuck. <laughs> uh, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we saved the day. Look at that. Now we can just hop in our Scud missile. Which has the lowest HP that any vehicle can have. Jesus Christ. It doesn't mess around. And, getting into it, summons another swarm of aliens. Uh, of course so. it does. So I guess yeah. that's why you didn't do that. Yep. You... Hop in there to summon them, and then you immediately hop out, or you die. And if the Scud launcher explodes, you die, no matter where you are. Even if you're in the tank, you die. Stupid question. Uh, sure. Can that thing be destroyed accidentally while you're fighting these guys? Not not you killing it. I'm sure that is prob probably a thing. But like, could the could the firefight that you've been doing accidentally have killed the Scud launcher? Yeah, absolutely. That's why I didn't go anywhere near it, because stray bullets will hit it and blow it up very quickly. Yeah. It really takes like two or three to kill it. Oh, and we got another specter. Hopping in the specter summons another swarm of aliens. Of course it does. No, really? <laughs> yep. They're taking their time to get here, but there they are, right on the mini-map. I would like to apologize for saying earlier that you give this game not enough credit. <laughs> I mean, it gets technical credit, because it's very impressive to have this many aliens on screen. It is. Mm -hmm. But I shall amend what I said. You give it too much, and also simultaneously not enough credit. I give it too much time, that's for sure. This video took like two hours to record. And even that's pretty low for the average Body Harvest video. So... When are we going to expect the speedrun of this? Next AGDQ? Hopefully. I mean, the speedrun's a lot faster because of uh, skips. That's a good thing. Mark Hamill's character on regular show. He can speedrun this game very quickly. Ah. There we go. Final, uh, final weapons crystal. Alien weapon constructed. Yeah, Ooh. what is our final alien weapon? The Disruptor. All right, that makes sense. Huh. Fires rainbows. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, they are very destructive, if you... Certainly disruptive, at least. True. <laughs> so, stupid question again. Can you get more ammo for it, or is... Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't think I'm going to on video, but uh, there's some barracks back at the science area that have uh, special weapon ammo in them. We don't really need it because we don't have much use for it, but it's there. I don't know. Seems seems fairly useful. Is it a one-hit kill weapon? Yeah, it's a one-hit kill on pretty much everything. Good. So you're going to use it against the processor or whatever final thing is left? I mean, I could. If I did, though, I'd be in dire straits already, and I'd probably die just from getting out of the vehicle. At this point in the game, if you're out of the vehicle, you're dead. That is true. But that seems kind of strange. I I mean, I guess they, they want to keep you in vehicles and everything, but I don't know. It just seems weird a little bit. Yeah, it's, uh, it's challenging, and they... Uh, they use it to, like, manipulate the player into doing specific things because they will withhold vehicles from you at certain areas. 
like the beginning of this very uh, stage. We had to do a lot of running around outside of vehicles in order to get to a vehicle in the first place. And the scientist keeps uh, gating us from getting the right vehicles. There's another scythe hand. Yeah, in order to get the scud out of here properly, we need to kill every single bug because the scud has so little HP. If there's one bug left, it can kill the uh, launcher, and then we die. That is a problem. Yeah. Oh, we've pretty much done so now. Finally. Oh, wait, there's one red dot on that map. Yeah, but he's stuck behind a wall back in the first area. Mm, fair enough. Screw him. You should deal with that singular Russian man. He's far too calm. They've seen worse. Perhaps he is Batum. <laughs> that's, uh... That's a fan theory. Don't take any chances. Kill him. Now this is the part where something you mentioned, Scruffo, in the last video comes into play. Oh no. Which is uh, the Hangman Bee's special property of being able to pick up vehicles, and how I thought it was useless. Um, until I was talking to you after recording that video, and uh, turns out that what the scientist just told us implies that we are supposed to take the Hangman Bee and go pick up the Scud launcher and bring it back using the Hangman. Makes sense. I didn't figure that out the first time, and I drove the Scud launcher back here manually. Oh dear. Yeah. Sounds like that would be a pain in the ass. Yeah, it was, and I was like white knuckle gripping the controller because if one bug was anywhere, I would have died. This time it'll be a little easier, a lot faster, that's for sure. And it's a good thing because there's one bug left. But he's a ground bug, so we can ignore him if we're going to take the hangman. If he were not a ground bug, then we'd have to kill him. Or if we were driving the scud launcher like fools, then we would have to kill him as well. I don't even know where you're going anymore. Like, I know I know you want to get to the scud launcher, but I don't remember shit already. Yeah. Vedensk is uh, roughly directly to the west of where the uh, military base is. So it's relatively easy to find. Definitely glad that this game has a radar. Yeah, it's useful. I was a little premature in picking up the Scud Launcher there, because I want to visit the uh, target that we're going to blow up before we blow it up. Won't be very useful to visit it after we blow it up. See, there it is. Ooh. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of uh, bearings. And you'll notice that um, Daisy's the one who's giving us the current mission objective, not rob the robot like it has been in previous levels. Hmm. Why is that? Um, I can't say 100% sure why that is. I have my theories, though. And those theories are technical limitations of the N64. <laughs> sure, why not? Yeah, we'll get to that later on. Requisite action roll. Haven't done one this level. A new alien artifact. The final alien artifact. <gasps> yeah, very last one in the whole game. And what did it do for us? Oh, nothing. Wait, what? Nothing at all. Really? Yeah. It's the worst. I hate this stupid game. We made a delicious, incredibly sharp pizza out of them. It's not even going to give you anything special in the end? Nope. All it did was uh, unlock boss fights that we can replay. Sure, why not? Yeah. Uh, at least that's a thing? Yeah, I mean, it should be a thing regardless of the collectible, but it, it's there. We've got it. That's like such a shitty fucking reward. Yeah, it's the worst. Hey, hey, you could do a boss rush now that you got all the collectibles. Fuck you. <laughs> you tell him. But yeah, we did it. Oh well. What I thought it did was um, give us the effect of the serious weapons cheat, which is awesome. 
but I'll have to show that off later because it's exclusively available in cheat form. What a shame. Lame. It's gonna be after our time. Maybe. We'll see. I, I will I will say this though, I really miss cheats. I miss games just having cheat codes in them all the time. Yeah, they were kinda of fun. Now it's like no, no, gotta gotta be super serious all the time. No no fun cheat codes. Video games are now serious business. Super serious. Can't even have a big head mode. What a shame. Nope. And we brought up that exact point the last time we discussed cheats in this LP. Look, there's... There's only one good cheat, and that's big head mode. I don't care. It's the only good one. It's not even a cheat. Uh, this is the exact moment that I realized that the uh, Spectre has an alternate fire, which is more useful than its default fire. You're lining up with that scud, and it's worrying me, like, really quickly. <laughs> We're like, oh yeah, this has an alternate fire. Oh yeah. Yeah, This the, having the scud around is very high tension. And for the third uh, stage in a row, the processor is not here. Where it is eventually going to be. I, I don't understand. Is it a problem that the processor isn't here? We, we kind of, it's, well, it's not here. It's not causing problems. If it was here, we'd be able to kill it and end the mission. <laughs> Stop aiming at the scud. <laughs> no can do. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> just, I, my heart can't handle it. Keeping you on edge. Have you considered aiming the disruptor right at the scud? <laughs> That's an idea. So, we've done everything. We got the Scud missile, we brought it back. It's safely in the launch area. There's no power. Come back later. Sure, why not? This mission covers, like, the least area of any stage, but it takes so long. We just cover that area over and over and over again. Game design. Yeah. I went to college to be a game creator. This is what I came up with. I don't know if anyone was going to college for game design back in the 90s. No. No. Probably not. I went to college and I got paid to play video games. <laughs> did you tighten up the graphics on level 5? You bet I did. <laughs> and just make the guy go this way. Of course. Where else would that guy go? most disingenuous fucking ad ever. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what happens when we get hit by the scythe hand when we're out of vehicle. It's not very good. And the disruptor was doing me no favors. And I almost died. Holy shit. Yeah, the disruptor is basically identical to the tri-spinner, which means that the projectile files fires very slowly, and the hitbox is kind of uh, misleading. So usually it'll just, you know, fly right past your target. Eh, seems about right. Yeah, that'll get you killed. You've come so far, please do not die. That's kind of what happens. I mean, you're back in your shitty car, but... God damn it. I hate this car. I irrationally hate this car. That's kind of what happens when you fire, fire 2D projectiles at, at things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I lost well over an hour worth of recordings just from, uh, deaths. I'm sorry. On this very stage, yeah. That sounds painful. Yep. Not to mention all my practice runs that ended in death. This game uses difficulty to add a replay value. Hmm, what could be draining the power in the generators? Hmm. Is that guy Radio Tomsk? He, I think he's Radio Tomsk. He looks like a Tomsk. <laughs> that guy was coming right for me. Oh, you have to thin their numbers. <laughs> Very true. Now we know what's draining the power. Good old throwback from Java. And they won't let us close to use the shotgun on them. 
What a shame. And in fact, we haven't gotten a rifle yet, so the only weapon we can use on foot against them is the Disruptor. So it's a good thing we got it. Collected those weapons crystals. Using rainbows to kill rainbows. Countless rainbows. <laughs> Truly the most powerful force known to man. It brings a whole new meaning to the phrase full spectrum warrior. <laughs> that commonly used phrase. Yeah, it, it, completely commonly used. <laughs> It's at least used so much that it has spawned two video games. Which may or may not be even more obscure than this video game. <laughs> Which may or may not be being LP'd at this moment. Hmm. That I did not know. That I didn't know either. I just, I, I keep remembering that. I'm like, every time it goes on sale on Steam, I'm like, I kind of wanted to get that. So, that was our third, uh, stupid fetch quest to, uh, get this damn Scud missile launched. And it's out of the way. Can we get a four? Maybe. We'll find out. Just gotta walk back to, uh, that pain in the ass scientist. Now oh, we should outlaw science. It's the worst. It really is. Science has created these bugs, probably. I don't know. Where do these bugs come from? Maybe they created science. I don't know. Those monsters. Back in the sky. Okay, so we got power. We got everything we need. Uh, that's not a missile. That's that's pistol fire. So we're still missing an important piece. Oh god. <laughs> Forty-four minute video. It's it's in a truck. Why do you need outside power? What? Mm. Yeah, you're right. That makes absolutely no sense. <laughs> makes perfect sense. What are you guys talking about? Just I I I held my tongue up until the the fourth part of this fetch quest. We could have driven it here. Like it has power. We can drive it. Oh my god. No big deal though. It's next door. Oh, good. So we're just about done. It's just right next door. You say that. Nothing bad could possibly happen. See? You got it. There we go. <laughs> Progress. Easiest mission yet. Hmm. Do you think they did that just to kind of piss you off? It certainly worked. Yeah, because I'm just like... Something like that is, is like so, so fucking tongue-in-cheek, it's literally busting out of their their fucking cheek right now and into somebody else's mouth. <laughs> That's not a very good missile code, is it? It's zero one zero, then repeat. Yeah. Russians. It's yeah, Russian missiles. They're lucky they even have missiles. I believe I've heard that Moscow has like anti missile defenses at all times to this day. So they're they're ready for missiles. Oh, yeah. But here we go. It's finally launching. And we have to control it. Oh, no. <laughs> it basically controls like a plane. You can mess this up, can't you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I didn't. Sure would be a bummer to mess it up at that point, though. Did... Did it just... Did it just make a crater? Oh, yeah. It blew up that entire, uh... Elevated area. Good. Huh. Good, I'm glad. I'm sick of it. Get that shit out of here. Good job, Red Faction. Before Red Faction. Yep. The weird thing is, the whole point of this level was that the bugs had infested that radio tower. We went into that radio tower, and there were, there were no bugs in there. I'm pretty sure the scientist just sent us on a wild goose chase. Not those kinds of bugs. He means audio recording devices. Ah, that's why the radio operator was so upset. I hope I'm not right. I hope I'm wrong about that. We'll never know. So we finally got access to this second tank. 
it only unlocks after we get the uh, launch codes. And it almost got exploded by the stream of aliens that showed up after we blew up the radio tower. This tank has insane amounts of HP, so getting it blown up by aliens is uh, notable, to say the least. And remember that we are on easy mode. On hard mode, the aliens do about twice as much damage. Oh no, the Scud launcher! You failed the mission! <laughs> nope. It has launched the Scud, so I don't need it. It's fine, plus you could just reset the vehicle anyway. Right? I could, if I wanted to. I certainly don't want to just yet. Right now I want to kill these bugs, because they're everywhere. Just turn this entire map into a crater. That's all you have to do. <laughs> That's basically what happens if you blow up the Scud launcher prematurely. Almost done with all these bugs. And at this point, I'm just going to ignore them and go to where the processor is landed. Because when I kill the processor, they'll despawn, is my logic. All I have to do is survive the processor fight. That processor's got regular amount of HP. Yeah, pretty much, which is still a whole lot of HP. I have, in the past, uh, died to this processor. So that's fun. Oh, I can't imagine why. Yeah. When, when, when literally everything you see is, is full-on rainbow colors of particles. So I, I killed the processor there, but the bugs didn't despawn. Because the processor respawned elsewhere. <laughs> what the fuck? Sure, <laughs> why not? That's fine. Don't worry. Yeah. Why not? You thought you killed the processor, but no. It was really me, the processor. Yeah, I don't know why that happened, but it glitched things out. This cutscene is not supposed to play yet. But oh no, the Alpha One is under attack. How strange and different. Right now, though, we're celebrating. Time for celebration. Forget about that. We are celebrating. Yep, we beat the game. Hell Twelve yeah. minutes to spare. <laughs> We are getting pretty close to where the game ends if you're playing easy mode on uh, the UK release. I have confirmed now that uh, in the USA release, we do get to continue on with the game. Oh, good. That's good. I don't have to replay the entire game on hard mode. What a pisser that would be. No kidding. And a little shield portal has opened up over there. And there we go, Alpha Command is under attack. It's gonna blow if we don't get there quick. Oh no. And it's really far away, because we're on stage four and it's in stage one. Uh, <laughs> of course it is. Uh, Luckily this little shield portal here makes it a lot easier to get there. Yes. We're back in zombie land. Hop in the fuel ski, quickly. We're near the fuel ski, but... We're also near the halo that we can finally get into. Oh my gosh. It finally paid off. I was surprised too. I didn't think it was going to happen. Guess that's what happens to a bunch of naysayers. We were proven wrong. <laughs> well, this, is, this isn't the, uh... This isn't the, the, the helicopter we were initially teased with and never got in. Well... This is a different one. Yes, it is. Is it? Yeah, check the video. Mm, fine. It's also pretty slow. What I did the first time I played this was I went back to the previous um, status beacon, the one from uh, Stage 3. Mm -hmm. I teleported straight back to Alpha Command, and I saved the day from there. That's a good way to do it. Yeah, it was actually a little faster than this way. But this way is sort of the intended way. Uh, you know, you don't, you, you don't want to cut any corners. It's, it is the developer's uh, plan, after all. Yes. It is their intended artistic vision for you to suffer through slow flight patterns. Here we are. It's 
just three bugs that are about to kill Alpha Command. We really should have given her a gun. Yeah. Plus, Alpha Command is what we use to kill bosses. So really, it should just transform and blow the hell out of these bugs. But it's not gonna. It only does that at scripted events. Of course. It takes an excessive amount of energy to do it. Something like that. There we go. We saved it. And now the status beacon goes back to where we just were. Great. Thanks, game. Thanks. Thanks, Rob. All the way back. <laughs> but now, Rob is giving us uh, mission objectives. What could that mean? Oh no. They got Daisy. <gasps> no way. What a twist. Wait, why didn't they just tell us that? Uh, I don't know. In fact, it's very confusing. I didn't know for sure that they got Daisy until I started playing the next uh, level. But this is their implication that uh, Daisy's been kidnapped. Shocking. Yeah, just so many plot holes. Eh, sort of. Less holes and more just they don't tell us anything. True. Yeah, like, they really should have made that much more explicit. Yeah, like, the phrase, the operator has been ki kidnapped, taken by the aliens, something, anything. Or a distress signal from Daisy saying they're, they're currently in the process of kidnapping me. A Batum came in and she thought you, uh, he was you and... <laughs> oh yeah, just Batum taunting you. I miss Batum. Yeah, he had his uh, big showing at the beginning of this level, and he hasn't showed up since. Choo-choo. <laughs> it's pronounced woo-woo. How dare you correct me like that. <laughs> in my own LP. In my own home. Yeah, this LP is kind of your fault. I told you that I was planning to do a Body Harvest LP, and you lit up with excitement. I cheered you on the whole time. So, yeah, that's what made me look into it, and I realized that the game took place in 2016. So I said, I guess I gotta do it this year. I was gonna put it off for infinite remaining years. Have other people do it. After I found out how horrifyingly nightmarishly difficult it would be to do this LP, I definitely should have uh, put it off indefinitely. But no, because of Scruffo, you're all seeing this LP. You're welcome, everyone. It needed to be LP'd. Yeah. This had to happen. A couple of people were planning to do this LP, and I have saved them. Oh, you guys are so lucky. <laughs> because I've also died at this, uh... the shield generator. You can see my health is just melting away. Because this battle is really, really difficult. You're fine. You're doing fine. Don't worry. And I was too scared to save because of the thing that happened in America where I saved between uh, processors and um, it caused the shield portal to never open again. So I thought that might happen here and I didn't want to have to replay the entirety of Siberia. So instead I just had to replay the entirety of this stage. That's a relief. <laughs> Is it? That you succeeded. The, the, way the, the way the ground gave way was kind of cool. <laughs> Yeah, it's done that in every stage, or every, uh, level, but it's always really cool. It also did that when we blew up Vladensk. A lot of really nice effects built into this game. Yeah. We're about to see our- one of my favorite effects. Oh, uh, Daisy's back. Hey, Daisy. Daisy's back. <laughs> Bye, Daisy. We did it. I'm pretty sure that's part of the, like, switch, where they switch Rob and, uh, Daisy, because Rob is the one who asks to save before the boss in every other level. So that's more or less a glitch. Interesting. Yeah. But anyway, our boss is Beelzebub. The Fly King? Yep. Another Satan analog. Because <laughs> the bugs are Satan. Sure, why not? I really, really like the design of Beelzebub, though. 
Also, you're almost dead already. Yeah, the thing about Beelzebub is when you blow up his uh, limbs and stuff, they don't drop full heals like every other boss has. We have to rely on the uh, doodle bugs that he spawns in. Killing them drops one or two health pickups. Sometimes. Oh, a classic Metroid boss. Health drop, of course. Yep, only some of the doodle bugs drop them though. And then we have to go get the health and his shots knock us all over the place. So it's very e difficult to get healed around here. And very easy to take a lot of damage. Now that we've basically completed Siberia though, it's worth noting that in the manual, Siberia is not the location of the fourth attack that the uh, aliens bring on Earth in the year 1991. It's not? No, it's not. In the manual, the first three attacks take place in Greece, and then in Java and America, as we already know. But the fourth one takes place in mainland China. Oh, so we're going to China next. Are we? Are we? Maybe. Because this is the fourth attack. The fourth attack did take place in 1991. That's an interesting discrepancy there. Yeah. They, they may have screwed up from from initial concept to this, or or maybe everything we've done in the past has affected the future in some way. Yeah, I think it has changed this timeline, or possibly the thing about the attacks is uh, the initial attack, the one that we're preventing, where the shields pop up and they devour everybody, that's just them powering up for the real attack, which is where they actually blow up a continent. After they eat everybody in the shielded area, then they all mutate and destroy literally huge land masses. So maybe they ate everybody in Siberia and then attacked mainland China for the fact that it has a much larger population, I guess? Sure, why not? Yeah. I, 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 could, I could buy that. Yeah. I just thought that was an interesting little thing that the manual noted. There are many different theories you can come up with for uh, why it's the case. Holy crap, this is, oh, I was about to say, this is probably the scariest form, and... Oh, it absolutely is. After you knock off Beelzebub's, uh, tail, it's kill or be killed. If you don't kill him within seconds, he kills you. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Interesting. But it's just got, you could basically just two-shot it, so it's not as scary as you'd think. Well, that was like three or four shots. And, uh, he had his jaws around our vehicle doing continuous damage. Yeah, that is... So, he would have killed us in a couple of seconds, but he dies in a couple of seconds as well, so... I kind of like that. Yeah, it's well balanced. It's a very, very well-designed boss, both visually and in terms of gameplay. Like, he had a hornet's tail, and his body was like one of those flying ants. It was very cool. I want Rockstar to do, like, another sci-fi thing. I'm so tired of GTA and... Yeah, no kidding. Anything you know, out of the realm of reality, or quote-unquote reality would be nice. Mm-hmm. But, uh, there we go. The alien comet is next. We're going to hit him where they live. Nice. Thanks for joining me for what is technically the final level of Body Harvest, though. This is a real fun one. What a shame. I'm not going to be there for those. Or will I? You'll be on the sidelines cheering us on. Heck yes. Definitely. Let's do it. And I've said this at the end of probably every stage, but, uh, next time shit gets really fucking real. So look forward to that, because I am not. Awesome. Nice. See you next time.